Do the Shadow Flame Tether. I thought he only just set his, his stuff down to 2 health that previous turn. And then Heather died, so I didn't have time to Shadow Flame it. Hey Star Fever, how's it going? You're good, but you have work tomorrow? 6 to 7.30 shifts? Dang. I had 6 mana, but did he have a... Was his board in Shadow Flame range? Like Shadow Flame Peather, but then he had he had the thing that was at um like the Keeper Old Mom was still at four health, right? I don't think it was actually a board like a complete board clear. I'm a little bit worried about taking Flame Imp. Let's take the Voodoo Doctor. You Peather Argus instead of Peather Shadow Flame. Everything would have died except for the three four. Yeah, but I want to get I want to save it for a full clear. With this deck your clear should be pretty much complete. Oh, maybe I should have taken the flame. Flame in. I want to keep this at higher health. Hopefully he doesn't have Hex. Wow, we already have Arcane Golem too. Okay. I guess we go for it. Try to push for lethal. So Arc Arcane Golem is 8. <laughs> if we draw the Owl, then we have enough. We have Arcane Golem plus PO and Owl. Now we have the double PO. So it's uh, 12 plus 4, 16. Uh, okay. I think we want to play around Lightning Storm. So these guys are going to die to Lightning Storm, right? Oh, this may not die to Lightning Storm. Let's heal up this the Lothab then. Then he needs like spell power, lightning storm, which could, which is still a gamble on if he can clear this off. Let's get DJ on board too. It gets wrecked by elemental destruction if he runs that. I'm guessing it's a lightning storm. Yeah, so that doesn't clear off the Lotheb or the brand. Okay. It's 12 plus 9, right? And it's fine if he's face tanking the damage. He doesn't want the double mana crystal? If you noticed my rank yesterday, you'll know how I feel. What happened, Storm Fever? Sorry, I wasn't watching too carefully. Did you uh, have a bad session? True, didn't know you had to play that greedy to win, just want to understand. Yeah, no, no problem, Robin. Look at this one third nerfed hand. Yeah, BGH is nerfed, Arcane Golem is nerfed. What else is getting nerfed? Hunter's Mark. You know, that was something interesting. I didn't think that they were going to address Hunter's Mark, but I'm glad that's nerfed. It's kind of OP. Zero mana. It's kind of like the zero mana soul fire kind of thing. So. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No problem, Stormkeeper. Stop bullying midrange shaman. He already has a hard enough time. Alright. Let's get the Hellfire. Against the patrons. Owl wasn't in my hand at the time though. So 
That's... Yeah, this deck has a lot of nerfs. So Owl's getting nerfed. Especially have two Owls. A lot of this stuff is disappearing. Lotheb. Lotheb, Dr. Boom, Healbot. Tons of it. Okay, so it's probably Patron. Hunter's Mark and Blade Flurry both came out of nowhere for me. I expected Force of Nature, Juggler, Owl, BGH to be nerfed, but others were surprises. Yeah, I think I had a impression that they were going to nerf the Keeper of the Grove too. But I thought they were going to get rid of the Silence ability. Like they want to get, they want to make Silence less abundant. But they didn't really change anything about that. Only the stats. I guess just to discourage people from playing 2, just automatically. Because this is a no-brainer play 2 if it's 2-4, uh, deal 2 damage. So good against aggro, and then you have the silence effect too. So now it has a 4-mana like, 2-2. Two -two. I guess people will reconsider just auto-including it. Okay, so we can go with Lotheb. It's a soft Harrison, because he can't really effectively make patrons this turn. He can't couple Enrage or a Whirlwind with it. So then he may want to just hold the weapon for one turn, but then he's taking he's taking extra damage from Lotheb too, so I mean he has like a nice he has a nice clear here if he wants it, but if he's holding onto the weapon to for the whirlwind effect. So yeah, basically it's like a Harrison. Another unstable ghoul. Nine cards I can tap first. Let's see if he goes with Patron here. You could go like Patron, Whirlwind, run this in, or Patron, Enrage, run this in. Anyways, they all died to Hellfire. Let's see the Patron. There we go. Best thing for him would be to take a, a Battle Rage sometime. Like, coin out Battle Rage, maybe? Slam. What, is, what does that do? It doesn't even kill off the re Refreshment Vendor. Anyways. Important thing is we're able to clear the Patron without him getting any card draw. Pretty important. Mm. We could play Peddler here, or we could just like tap and chow. I like tap and chow so I can get brand peddlers. Brand peddler value. Although we do have to worry about our hand size. We can't do brand peddler peddler, then our hand gets overfilled, I think. We could BGH brand peddler. Oh, I forgot the brand, brand BGH value. Whoops, misplay. Soul Fire is good. PO would be good too. But I guess I'll take a Void Walker. It's the most useful out of those. You feel like Ancient Lore is terrible? Yeah, I think it's it I think it basically fixes the problem of Ancient Lore. Not enough room in hand for a brand double peddler. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it would've been like ultimate value there. Oh, he has a nice whirlwind. Probably would take it if he has battle rage. If no battle rage, it's not as worth it. Okay, it's kind of battle rage. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we can owl the Acolyte. And the Argus trade with the um, with this. And then 
petal. Petal for something. Or the soul fire. It's a good challenge board too. Get that board control while he's pretty close to full health, so the healing doesn't even matter. And I wonder if we want to just go into Drax's mode soon. Like if he doesn't develop any board here, I don't mind going to Drax's mode. Inner Rage. Whirlwind. Execute something. Anyways. We have a board that's able to trade with the damage stuff, and we can Drexus to hit another one in Soulfire. So that will clear the board. So this one's dying. This one's dying. We died to Grom plus Inner Rage, but here he used both Inner Rages, so nope, we don't die to that. Soul Fire or PO? I think Soul Fire. Ra ha 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 ha. Okay. So we have, still have a Taunter, we have Heal, and then we just Hero Power him down. Maybe Taskmaster. If he has Taskmaster, he can. You can punch through lethal. Okay, so Shadow Flame is good. Although he's already played both patrons, so his only threat left is Grom. Grom and one Corcoran. I like how they timed the expansion right before my final. <laughs> Sorry, I hear that. It's okay, then you can have a nice celebration after your finals and just like really focus on playing. Execute, okay. He still has the Grom task out. If he has a weapon up and we don't have taunt. So we have 12, 14, plus another 6, 20, maybe I should drop this last turn, although I think we still wouldn't have lethal, I think we would probably still be 2 off lethal. Alright, now does that change your hellfire, so we get hellfire. So this is 6 plus Hellfire is 9, 9 damage, plus 11, so we're 2 off still. Alright. That's fine then. Don't Hellfire. If we Hellfire, we would have given him still the out of Grom Tesk. Boom. What's your degree in? Oh, you're talking about Druizel? Di dietetics? What is that even? I don't even know what that is.
Oh, that's that's crazy though. Yeah, 420. I guess some schools end in early May, so yeah. For me, it's like quarter system, so we don't end till June. So it seems so weird that people are already taking finals. Exciting though. You're almost done. Shane. I think this guy is playing that uh, mid-range warrior. We played against him with Paladin, didn't we? Um, so there's no point in keeping this, is there? I guess they do have like Armor Smith, Acolyte, and um, Monkey Taunt kind of boards, so maybe Hellfire is still useful. It's definitely not useful against Control Warrior. Oh, Dietitian, I see. Got it, Dietitian. So how good for you is a boba diet? I imagine it's pretty good for you, right? It's a recommended diet. A boba day keeps the doctor away. Looks like they'll end up at clinical doing routine nutrition counseling at a hospital. But eventually I want to specialize as a renal cancer dietitian. And that's good. Seems like a very worthwhile career. So we can go with um, abusive. I want to point out the refreshment vendor too. If it is the mid-range version, then we don't have to worry about brawl. They don't run brawl, so that's one weakness of it that we can play to our advantage. Nice to get the Chow's down early, when he's just like, we're just knocking armor off right now, we're not actually dealing real damage to his health, so the healing effect doesn't do anything for him. I get completely screwed over if this is, um, he's just control warrior. We'll see if my impression is correct. If it's mid range, then we take advantage of him not having Brawl. Hey, Soul Bounce, how's it going? Never get punished by Brawl. So we hit here. Cool. So we'll never get punished by Brawl. So we hit here. I want to continue pressure too. I either play the bronze beard or a heal bot. Maybe we can develop heal bot. Or a 
whirlwinds. Another whirlwind, okay. Nice use of those whirlwinds, Kappa. We didn't get any battle rages off of them, so that's good. Got Shadow Flame. Don't really want to owl this. I want to owl the Cairn. And we, we want to save the Shadow Flame for the Varian turn. That's going to be his turn 10, the Varian. And just Shadow Flame everything. Drexus. That's better. There we go. Alright, Varian. Play your Varian. He plays Varian, we just like BGH. And Shadow Flame. And then Coil. Alright. Top deck BGH. You're gonna miss Arcane Golem OTK after nerf? Yeah. Yeah, I'll miss that too. Alright. So Hellfire. Coil. Another PO. Okay, we got a lot of bursts already. Let's go with the brand on board. Something to help trade with this. When's that variant coming out? Battle Rage? Okay. Hey, Trans Chaos, how's it going? It's going well for me. How's the stream been going lately? I saw you hit Legend on NA, congrats! I guess we're weak to... Um... Grom. Is there any way to play around Grom though? We have to, we have to tap into healing to play around Grom. We can just ignore Grom. Just try to set our own lethal with Draxus. I think that's the best play. There's no guarantee I tap into healing. So I think we just go for it. Is there anything else that kills us? Only Grom. If he happens to have it. It's like 50-50. He's drawn about half the deck. Armor. Maybe no Grom then. Okay. You also won a tournament today? Awesome, Transchaos, congratulations. You've been doing really well at those tournaments. Did you bring like the similar aggro lineup? Seems to be performing well. You have so much respect for anyone doing any type of energy. It's tough stuff. It is pretty, it's a pretty tough major, but every field has its own like difficulties and challenges, right? So, um, like, Another field which probably like doesn't gain a lot of respect is psychology and dealing with like mental health. It's one of those things that people don't normally think about, nor do they want to think about it because it's it takes a lot of like uh, what do you call it a, a type of courage to really look critically at yourself and to be vulnerable, like to open up. But it is like a huge issue too. You think about a lot of. A lot of cases with crime and like, like shootings. There's something definitely wrong with whoever whoever committed those. Like, there's definitely some mental health is issues. And just being in an environment where there's like more open dialogue about mental awareness, mental health, resources. You know, it's like an important thing too. It's sometimes hard to accept though, like as an engineer, because it's like it's really hard to quantify that kind of thing or to have some kind of test you can just run, like diagnostics. So yeah, it's one of those fields that feels kind of hand wavy. But I think that's just because it's 
too complex to really like model a person's mind and connect that kind of thing. A lot of psychology goes into treating those patients. Yeah, definitely. It's a similar lineup, but bring three, no ban. I see. That's cool. Oh yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, Chaos is another streamer. You guys should be checking out Trans Chaos. Give him the follow button. That's why I like working with computers more predictable most of the time. Yeah, well, sometimes you get some bugs and stuff too, which you can't figure out. But yes, in general, it's more predictable. Load the. I guess we get Bran on board. Um, get rid of the beasts. Okay, that's good. It's good, it's not Huffer. Even Leoc probably would have been better. He could have traded with this. But he doesn't want to trade. Okay. So we can do Lotheb. Seems fine. And then... Kill this off. Kind of sucks to use a PO like that. We're giving up some of our bursts, which we need to push through lethal. So how much time do we have? Maybe you have to kill him in two turns. So I go Dr. Boom. That's the biggest threat that we have. We don't have any healing or other... We don't have the Arcane Golem. So can we, can we kill him next turn? We have 14 damage on board. We can trigger one of the boom bots, but I think I need a PO. I think I need PO in order to win. I don't have enough mana to Drax's heal yet either. If we get Arcane Golem, that should be enough, right? Arcane Golem. Oh, speaking of Arcane Golem, so that's eight. Plus 14. Oh, one over. Yeah, no problem, Chaos. It's exciting that you've been doing so well in these tournaments. BM 10 out of 10. <laughs> hey Tomo, how's it going? Locky lock, yes. No, I already said hi to Tomo earlier. Just t Tomo was trying to say that I'm Locky. Makes me want to listen to that Locky song. There's like a song dedicated to my name. Alright. Get the chow. Get the chow. Never chow. I was telling Locke earlier, I expect Juggler, Owl, BJH, Fan, Force Nature, but not the others. Yeah. Is there anything that you guys wanted to see nerfed, though, that wasn't actually nerfed? Do you think anything was missed in that uh, nerf? The ban hammer, the nerf hammer. Like, Lepernome is kind of interesting. Does everyone agree that Lepernome should be nerfed? And do you think it'll be played as a 1-1? One, one? I think as a 1-1, one, one, you just go with, like, Argent Squire instead of Lepernome. Nice competitive spirit, bro. So we coil this. 
Maybe Feather first. Or do we Quill first? Is there another two trap we would play instead? Maybe an Owl? Probably not an Owl. Another Coil seems good. Coil all day long. Divine Favor? Okay, everybody says Divine Favor. How'd you guys nerf Divine Favor though? Just make it more expensive. I'm really happy he gave up his coin early on. So now if he has Keeper Ultimon, it's not that good. Yeah, Shredder is good though. Okay, we'll put the Chow on. He could trade here, but then it puts into Quill range. Hey, little man. Welcome to the stream. You put a caps on cards drawn from Divine Favor? That seems weird, though. There's no card with text like that. Um, it's probably Avenge, right? So you place Mr. Chandra, we play Dr. Boom. So now there should be a get down. So we should probably wait on trading secrets then. Until we have a chance to play our PO and our motor coils. Face is the brace. And we're looking for another board clear. Hellfire, Shadow Flame. Okay. So get down still triggers. Oh, so we want the get down to trigger first, because we want to activate the we want that to get redeemed. We don't want any of these to get redeemed. Hopefully the Avenge doesn't land on the Shredder. I want Mortal Coil that. Okay. And so we got a few draws to find like Shadow Flame or something. Bran. It'll be useful later. We can go for Argus. We can do PO Argus. PO Argus on this so I can trade here and leave this intact. And I guess we get rid of this. So he has Keeper Ultimon. We have Brand Healbot, our build your own Reno Jackson. We have uh, Faceless for his Tyrion. trade here. I don't think I should face this this. Should I? I kinda wanna say face this for the Tyrion, but is that is that just too slow? Cause we can just trade here and like play brand heal bot. It's definitely safe. Alright, let's do the brand heal bot. Also keeps our hand size kinda small too. So this needs to die. Okay. Seems okay. I put the Locky song in the queue, it's number one. Alright, cool. Yeah, you guys wanna get songs in the song queue? We can go ahead and switch to the song request.
one secret. So, um, what one additional secret would you play if you don't run a full suite? Okay, so it's gotta be get down and avenge then. Get down and avenge. Emperor. That's pretty good. Yeah, we don't trigger secrets. We don't trigger secrets in this stream. He gets a nice trade here. We're looking for the Hellfire. Once we clear the board, the only threat left is uh, Tyrion. The Tyrion. So we got two board clears in the last 12. Which would we prefer? Maybe Shadow Flame is a better clear than Hellfire. Almost there. We almost got this game stabilized. Almost like beat through all of his threats. All the secrets are gone. All the big threats are gone. Just need that shadow flame. Come on, shadow flame. There we go. So, assuming it's get down. Uh, I want. Probably will be Shadow Flaming this guy, right? Or we could abusive Shadow Flame this too. So then we, we'll keep the Lothab healthy. Hopefully the Venge falls on. Falls on one of the one health things. Not the 5 5. Anything but the 5 5. And we're good. Okay. Good. So then. Um, yeah, just abusive. Shadow Flame. Get the emptying boss on board. And we are good to go. He plays the Tyrion, we're faceless. We're happy go lucky. You st still think I'm a girl. Sorry, Debbie. My bad. My bad. And we have Drexus for healing and refreshment vendor too. Okay. We'll taunt up these guys. Is there any more reason to tap? I don't think so. I think we're just playing into his divine favor if we if we tap. So we just empty our hand. It doesn't get super wrecked by consecration. Feels good, man. <laughs> 